Hello and uh, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Blackjack Johnny and I'm going to be showing you how to create um, perfect 90 degree bends using uh, cylinder meshes uh, so we can create uh, pipes to decorate our scenes with. Um, I'm also going to show you how to do the same thing uh, using curved patches to create uh, curved sidewalks, pavements, uh, also patches for our roads and stuff like that. So let's get started. I'm just going to come over here to a bit of free space. I've got my actor in here. If you want to add one, just right click in your 2D window, go to actor, select whichever one you wish, and we just can use this guy for scale. So I'm going to draw out um, a perfectly square uh, brush to start with. Uh, it's perfectly in line with our uh, grid unit here. This is just really going to help us line things up when we start moving verts around. So um, to start with, I'm going to show you how to do it uh, using a cylinder. So we've got our perfectly square brush drawn out here and I'm going to come up to uh, Patch Primitives Cylinder and as you can see there it's created a nice little cylinder switch down into your uh, front view using a control tab and then press V on your keyboard to bring up the verts just left click drag over one of these verts and you can use alt left click to move it around so let's cr start creating our bend I'm going to select this vert I'm going to use alt left click and drag it out I'm going to stop it there uh, we need to keep it even so I need to make it as big um, one end as it is the other. So I'm just going to drag that vert up there, select this middle vert, and I'm going to drag that over so it's halfway between uh, this vert and eventually this vert when I drag it over. So you can see there it's exactly the same width or height um, on either end. Uh, we need to keep it as square as possible. So let's carry on moving these verts. I'm just going to drag the outside vert and drag it up so it's perfectly in line with that vert and that vert. I'm going to do the same with this middle vert, drag it up, perfectly in line with this vert and this vert. Do the same with our last vert, drag it up, and we're done. <laughs> and that's it. As simple as that. We've just created a perfect 90 degree bend in this uh, cylinder mesh here. Just by moving six verts around in, a, in just a, a simple way to create this curve. So what we can do now is probably a, lot, a little bit bigger than we need it, so we can resize it. Uh, due to the properties of curve patches or curve meshes, um, when we resize them and pull them around, they add or remove vert lines um, as you go. As you can see there, if I go really small, it really starts to lose its shape. Oh, don't forget to uh, reshape it on all of the axes. <laughs> so I've just shrunk that down there. Um, to a perfectly reasonable size for a pipe and as you can see it's kind of lost its shape a little bit so I'm going to show you how to uh, keep its shape um, no matter how much uh, we move it around so I'm just going to drag it out until it's nice and smooth again and I'm going to convert this to a terrain patch so with the uh, cylinder selected just uh, go to patch um, curve to terrain and now when we resize this you can see it's not losing its shape at all. We can resize it um, quite small now if we wanted to, and it's still going to retain its perfect uh, shape there. Now, just be careful with these. Obviously, it's quite a dense mesh. Uh, you don't want too many of these in your map. And uh, <laughs> but just for aesthetics and for looking good, you can't really do much about it other than keep it quite dense. So just be careful with it. So that's it basically. We just created a nice 90 degree. Uh, angle in this cylinder mesh to start creating pipes or whatever we wanted to do with it. I'm just going to come over here quickly and show you the same principle um, but we're going to use curved patches this time. I'm going to show you how to make maybe a curved sidewalk or road uh, um, using the same principle. So I've just drawn in this patch here and we want to make a 90 degree bend going to our left. So I'm going to draw out a brush uh, I'm going to square it up with our other uh, terrain mesh there. I'm going to come up to patch, simple curve patch, and I'm going to leave it 3 and 3 for our density. Press V on your keyboard to bring up the vert, so I'm going to perform the exact same process I did before. Drag out and select your vert. Remember we have to keep it the same width uh, this end um, as to where it started. Drag these verts around, and as you can see, it's exactly the same method I used for creating the cylinder. Uh, just drag those up so they're nicely lined up. I'm moving a bit quicker now. <laughs> when you do practice with this, it's a really simple, easy way to create a 90 degree bend. As you can see there, a couple of seconds and it's done. Um, I'm just going to texture that real quick and just natural that texture so you can see it follows our bend. 
And what we can also do is to convert this into a terrain patch. Just go to patch curve to terrain. And uh, we can start adding some more verts in here now. Just press V on your keyboard, bring up your verts, drag out, select two verts, Control Shift A to add more verts, or uh, Control Shift Q to remove your excess. And there we go. So we've got some time left uh, in this tutorial. I'm just going to quickly show you how to make a basic dome um, for a bit of decoration on, on a building. As you can see, I've just created this simple building here. I've already made a dome and uh, placed it on top. I'm just going to show you how to go about creating a simple dome like this. And I'm just going to delete this one I've already made. Just select it and press backspace to delete. And I've made this little base for it. Um, nice and simple, just made a square brush and then clipped out the edges. <laughs> I'd rather have it sitting on a base than sitting flat on the roof. Uh, next thing we're going to do, draw out a brush and I'm going to make it as square as possible. It's not that important about size at this stage. Um, I'm just going to make sure it's lined up with our uh, little base there. I'm just going to drag it up. I'm going to try and square it off as much as possible. So it's three units wide, I'm trying to make it three units tall. It really isn't that important. So next, uh, we're going to switch back into our top view using Control tab and I'm just going to come up to Patch, Primitives, and I'm going to come to Cone. As you can see there, it doesn't look like it's done anything other than create a cylinder, but if I just left click drag anywhere in the 2D window, bang, there it goes. It's just created that nice cone mesh there for us. Um, and there, there it is. Uh, if we wanted to leave it like that, we could, but uh, I'm going to show you how to create more of a dome shape. I'm just going to uh, resize this. I'm just left click dragging on any outside edge of this. And it's important when you're doing this to mirror your movement to keep everything nice and square, or round in this case. <laughs> so if you move it on any direction, repeat it on all the other directions in the exact same way. So let's make it more of a dome shape. So reselect it, press B to bring up your vert. So I'm going to grab this very middle vert. I'm just going to use Alt left click to drag it down. I'm going to do this quite slowly and carefully. I want to create a nice dome shape for this. I'm just going to drag out and select this entire row, maybe pull it up. And you can go in and tweak this now and start creating a perfect dome for yourself. It might take a little bit of work. I'm just going to uh, drag these verts in a little bit. And again, very important to mirror your movements. If whatever you do on the left hand side, do on your right hand side. Uh, make sure to switch between your different uh, viewpoints to make sure it's all mirrored and everything's nice. As you can see there, I'm just doing some quick manipulation and already we've got a nice looking dome. Um, we can go ahead and uh, tweak it a little bit more if we're not too happy with it. Uh, maybe we'll uh, make it slightly taller. Uh, let's see, let's have a look. Drag it up. Ooh, no, a bit too far. Down again. <laughs> But well, you get the point anyway. You can go ahead and uh, just manipulate that as much as you want now. And that's about it, generally speaking. A nice simple way of creating a dome. Um, you can use the thicken tool to thicken this up if you wanted to. Um, but that's up to you. Play with it. See what you make of it. Have a nice time with it. <laughs> I hope this helped you out. Uh, thanks for watching.